her head by Drew the Mystery, a digital story. From what I have been told by way of audio description, his influences are Asian with a hint of Egyptian. This is a replica modelled from shellac coat critical and fine casting plaster with all the hallmarks of a sculpturing master. The original a bronze in 1986 for a garden in Stoke-on-Trent was commissioned, the completion of which was a real mission. Her mouth neutral, neither up nor down, no hint of a smile or frown, just the right ear is pierced. Was the left one done? And if so, where has it gone? She's wearing a headpiece to hold her hair in place, to keep the substantial serpentine plaits from off of her face. Ironically for me, from what I have been told, it is the eyes which literally stand out, mesmeric, mesmerising, flecked with gold. She's there, her eyes appear to stare. Is she blinking, winking, or deep in thought, thinking? If so, about what? Who knows? Having said all this, being visually impaired, I miss out on the full appreciation and rely upon a detailed explanation. My disappointment is such. A print sign, don't touch. The tantalising tactile nature, what potential to explore, alas, no more. A crying shame, yet no one is to blame. A piece so fragile would not last more than a short while, if handled. So this piece, with a very short history, will continue to remain mystery's woman of mystery.